remember I told you earlier in the semester that you guys would be so happy about assignment two? Because you'll be reusing it. Yes, guess what you are doing for assignment five? Reusing it. Yay. And you're going to hone your critical thinking skills. All right, assignment five, screen design analysis. In this assignment, you will be revisiting the interfaces you designed earlier in the semester for assignment two. So you are going to be critiquing yourself, your own work, as well as the work of your fellow students. This is important. The critiques will not be anonymous. In fact, your final critiques you will be giving to your fellow classmates as if they are your client. Now, that means A, you must be nice while still being honest. And B, you must be honest while still being nice. In other words, you need to be professional. And you want to look at things objectively. This includes your own work. Let me tell you what I don't want to see in a critique. I have the perfect interface. No problem. It's just awesome. I couldn't find one problem. What do you think you're going to get? Zero. Remember, there's no such thing as a perfect interface. And for the, your interfaces, remember, you created those interfaces very early in the semester. And they were not looked at in terms of how beautiful they were. They were looked at in terms of the requirements. Now you're going to be taking all the knowledge you've gained and applying it to your critiques. So you'll be providing constructive criticism. You guys have heard of that, right? Constructive, in other words, helpful. They must be professional, they must be thorough. You will need to critique the interfaces created by your preferably current team members. Doesn't have to be, but preferably. And you guys must coordinate with your fellow team members to get access to each other's interfaces. So what are some of the tasks? The first task is, if you have not already done so, make sure your prototype is available to your users via an online link. There are some people that put their files in drop boxes. You have to take it out of your Dropbox. Remember, I even though I told you not to do that, take it out of your Dropbox. It's got to be on a web server so that they have a link. Now, step two for each interface. Remember, you're going to two classmates and your own. You're going to do this. First, I want you to describe the overall look and feel, your first impression. How does it make you feel? Relaxed, stressed, confined? What do you think about the overall design? If you like it, why? If you don't like it, why? So first you're going to be taking an overall look at the interface. Then you're going to take a closer look because I want you to list the 10 most important flaws that you find in the interface. Now you can have more than 10 flaws but you have to have a minimum of 10 and the top 10 must be ranked in importance. Make sure you refer to your course notes in the book when describing the flaws. I want you not to just list the flaws, you must actually talk about why they're flaws. You must include information such as usability and design guidelines that are violated, issues such as goal directed versus task directed design, match and mismatch between represented and user mental models. Gestalt, the Gestalt theories, all of those things that we all have now known this semester and can apply, right? Right. You have to include this information in your critiques somewhere. It can be a paragraph, it can be a table, it can be a bulleted list, but it has to be there. Here's something I don't want you to do. Do not just include usability and design guidelines. You must use the knowledge we've gained throughout the semester. All right? If you just have 
usability and design guidelines, you will not pass this particular assignment. So make sure you do more. Then I want you to describe three to five positive aspects of the interface. And I don't want to hear there are no positive aspects. You can always find something. People have no problem coming up with flaws. Really talk about positive aspects why and why they are positive. And also provide feedback on adherence to the requirements. Usually this part is pretty short, but you will need to go back and look at the requirements in assignment two. You want to format it as a report. So you're providing a report. It needs to be easy to understand and read to your client. You want to make sure you include the following information. The reviewer name, preferably as a header. Your client name, make sure you include both. and Make it clear who is who. A URL link to the online prototype. A brief introductory paragraph describing the project. A screenshot of the interface and your critique as described in your other steps. <laughs>